Okay, today's devotional is entitled Making a Stand for Jesus Now. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but to protect them from the evil one. John 17 verse 15 Jesus never abandoned an issue, was always straight up about any issue. Received from the time of his temptation by Satan to the agony of Calvary, he chose to face life with all its agonies, problems and difficulties, never backing down from his responsibilities towards God and to mankind. A lot of us hide behind our problems so we do not have to face our responsibilities. Imagine if Jesus reached a compromise with the Jewish leaders for instance. He could have in all probability exchanged the, the ignominy of the cross for a position of authority. In the temple Jesus stood firm, standing courageously with what he knew was right in the sight of God. He was able to achieve this through his complete faith in and obedience to God. As Christians in a world that shows many signs of the trials and tribulations of which Jesus spoke, we too are called to make a stand for righteousness, despite our transfusions, afflictions and circumstances. We should not allow those things to be things to hide behind when our faith is tested. We are not called to take the easy way out. Through the power of the Holy Spirit and God's authority within, we should be well trained soldiers in taking ground rather than losing it, because for a brief moment when we take our eyes off the prize, it's easy to lose that which God has given us. As Christians, we may not take the easy way out by opting for a compromise or by remaining silent when some profession of faith is called for. Through the word, of, through the word we read that God expects an active church, and you are the church and should never stand passive behind the shield of piety. When one makes the living Christ a part of your life by your act of commitment to Him, you automatically are given the ability through Jesus Christ to experience the power to cope with life's problems and temptation. It is as through the name of Jesus Christ that we are able to find the strength to overcome every effort on the part of Satan to distract and lead you away from the path that Christ has set before you. My prayer is that we hold fast upon the fact that Christ is our rock, and upon that we stand and stand firm, never doubting the power and authority of His Word, of His life, of the kingdom of God. Okay, that's the end of today's devotional. I hope it, I hope it encouraging it encourages you and I hope you're able to utilize it in your walk or with your relationship with God today. And I and I really urge you to take something of it and try and utilize it in some way in your walk with God today. Thanks a lot for um, your time, and yeah, I really love sharing these excerpts of my quiet times with Jesus, with God, and yeah, I just invite you to become more reliant on the Holy Spirit for, that, for leading us, and that truly, we live a kingdom-filled life in Christ, through Christ Jesus. Thanks, guys. All blessings, and all the best in God.